Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube. Landon Harvey here. Wow, that was really natural. Thank you. I was being sarcastic. Okay, can, can I just do the intro? I don't care. Okay, okay uh, Famous Birthdays. What's that? It, it's a website that documents famous birthdays. Wow. Uh, they recently reached out to me about wanting to do an interview. Oh, that's excited. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, and so I filmed it with Jackie. I was part of it. Yeah, they wouldn't let me be in the video for legal reasons. <laughs> they just wanted it to be me because the the name on the my page is Landon Harvey. It's not Landon and Jackie. So, uh, but I got to interview you. That's that's correct. Yes. So uh, enjoy this clip uh -huh, of Jackie interviewing me for the Famous Birthdays website interview. This is great. I'm gonna go get some popcorn. Oh yeah. A snack to enjoy watching this video. Oh, it's just gonna go see a movie while they watched it. It's only 15 minutes. I know, but it's a slow 15. Enjoy the video. Okay, so I just look at the camera and then you're gonna ask me the question? That's correct, Lando. Okay, Jackie, what is the first question? Okay, Landon. Yes. Do you have any hidden talents? Oh, any hidden talents, geez. Um, None that are hidden, you know. I am a public ventriloquist. I write my comedy, so I'm a writer, a ventriloquist. Uh, I do a little bit of singing comedically. Uh, I guess something that's hidden about me and that I partake in is I love going to the creek and catching critters. And it's kind of a talent and a skill in itself because you have to kind of know what to look for. You know, these little baby turtles that we catch and early April, will have moss on their shells, and they are, you know, meant to blend into their surroundings. So, I don't know if I would consider it a hidden talent, per se, but it definitely is a skill that I have, and I love going to the creek with my mom and my sister, and catching those turtles, and looking for frogs, and just being in nature is very fun for me. Are you done? Yeah, that, that, that was it. Oh, okay. What's the, uh, what's the next question, Jackie? Okay, uh, if you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? My dream vacation. Your dream vaccination. Vacation. That's what I said. Okay. Um, if I could have my dream vacation, I would love to go scuba diving in the Cayman Islands. Oh, great! Yeah. I have some money I put in the Caymans. Okay. <laughs> okay, what's the next question, Jackie? If you could meet any three people, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I could meet any three people, dead or alive, oh my gosh. I would love to meet Paul Winchell. He's one of my favorite ventriloquists. And he's not only a ventriloquist, he's a figure builder, an inventor, a clever kind of guy, and he just seems like an interesting guy I'd love to have dinner with and just have a, have a two-hour conversation on the art. What about the other two? Oh, um, the other two, let's see. Uh, oh, gosh. I love acting, and I love movies, so probably would have to be Jim Carrey and Johnny Depp. And I'm going to throw a fourth one in there because I love music uh, and I love Sia. I'm a big fan of Sia and, uh, and her music and her style because it's so bizarre. And I love that it just stands out from everything else that's out there. So um, pro I love Sia for that regard. I love uh, Johnny Depp and his versatility to be all these different characters. I think that's a real skill in itself, especially being a ventriloquist. I resonate to that. But then I love Jim Carrey for also you know, being all these different characters, but being Jim Carrey in all of them. And you know what I mean by that. You know, he's outrageous self. Um, he really brings himself to every role, and I love that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Oh, one meal for the rest of my life. Oh, gosh. If I had to eat one meal for the rest of my life, I would probably go with, like, a Tex-Mex platter. I'm from Texas, uh, here in Plano, Texas, and I love uh, on the border, 
and uh, Blue Goose and Chewy's and all these fun Tex-Mex restaurants. So I'd probably go with a Tex-Mex platter with all the sides and uh, Coke Zero just to top it off. <laughs> okay, Lando, what advice would you give to your past self? Oof. The advice I would give to my past self is don't get caught up worrying about being perfect or worrying about what other people think. The best way you can improve as an artist and as a ventriloquist is to put your stuff out there and grow. When you begin in anything, you're going to be cringeworthy. It's going to be you're going to be rough around the edges and it takes years of practice and and awareness for where you are in your journey to grow in it. And so understand that you're going to get better if you have a passion and a determination to do so and that you can't worry about what other people think because they're not you and everyone's different. Everyone's got their own path. So to truly excel in art, you have to, you have to be inspired by outside sources because that's what brought you into it. But you have to figure out what is you and you have to just kind of put your blinders on and focus on your own lane. What are your favorite movies of all time there, Landon? Oh, my favorite movies of all time. I love, ever since I was a kid, I loved Pirates of the Caribbean. That was one of my favorite. I love every movie that that whole series has. And the whole casting is fantastic. And I love the different scenes and the set design. And the characters are fantastic. And it just, it makes me feel like a kid watching it again. I just, I love it. And when I got to go to Disney World, it was very fun for me to be part of that ride. That's great. Thanks. I was being sarcastic. Okay. Any others? Um, I love The Snowman. It's an animated film. And it's very nostalgic for me because I used to watch it every Christmas as a kid. And I love the music in it. And the... There's just like a, it brings me an inner peace. And so I love watching The Snowman. And uh, Paul Blart Mall Cop with Kevin James is a classic. Just the first one. The second one, they kind of threw away everything that they built up in the first one. But the first one is an absolute classic. I love it. I can quote it, uh, every scene in it. And I love watching it with my mom and my sister. And then my fourth option would have to be Austin Powers. And I just, I love, I love my, everything Mike Myers does. But everything in that movie, all three of them, all three movies are fantastic. They're hilarious. I love how they parody the whole James Bond. You know, they, they, they're basically parodies of James Bond, all the James Bond films. And they, they make fun of, taboos and just different things from all these different spy movies and uh it's wonderful it's hilarious and so i love love austin powers what is one of your most embarrassing moments oh man can i answer this one no this is this is an interview about me not you that's why you are asking me the questions and not next to me like you usually are on our live streams what other my most embarrassing moment? Yes. Aside from this interview. What does that mean? I thought this interview was good. What other? Just answer the question, Landon. Landon. Jackie. What? Sorry. Um, one of my most embarrassing moments, I was opening for a friend of mine at a show that uh, he was putting on. And I got heckled. And it was a rough show uh, for a number of reasons. It was at this kind of dive bar place that was also an ice rink and a area where you could throw hatchets uh, at targets. And so there was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, there was also music in the background that I was competing with, and I was trying some new material. It was the perfect storm, and there was a drunk guy in the back heckling me. So that was my most embarrassing moment. And what made it more embarrassing was that the drunk guy was your dad. No, it wasn't. Grandpa? No. Great-grandpa? No. Uncle? Jackie? What? 
Sorry. <laughs> All right. What's the next question? What is your biggest pet peeve? <laughs> my biggest pet peeve would have to be people that waste my time. And that sounds very entitled, but what I mean by that is, you know, <laughs> everyone's got something that, that they're going to do and then they have something to do after it. And I, I just, I have a real problem with people that are inconsiderate. And so, um, you know, if, if I'm at the line at a Julian Fabrics and I know, I know why I'm in that line, how much fabric I'm going to get cut, or I have a question, and I, I have a list of, of everything. I'm not, I'm not there asking 50 questions to the lady cutting my fabric, holding up the other 15 people in line. So it's just small things like that. But I'm also very jittery, and, and I get a lot done in a day. So I get very annoyed when I'm having to wait on other people. Oh, I can vouch for that. Oh, what the, that it's, you know, annoying when people waste your time? No, that you're jittery. Okay. What is your favorite birthday memory? Oh, my favorite birthday memory. Oh my gosh. Uh, I was a one-year-old at my birthday party and I was in the high school and my parents were feeding me cake. And I loved it so much that I, with my hands, would go more, more, more. And I go, but I wouldn't say more, I would say mo. So I go mo, mo, mo. <laughs> and it was just, they, it's, one of my favorite memories and one of theirs because I was I was so cute and I was I was already like you know such an attention hog uh, and everyone was like watching me as I would eat this cake and go more 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 so um, that's one of my favorite birthday memories. So if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Oh, uh, I could travel anywhere. Look at the camera. Oh, if I could travel anywhere, I would go to Wyoming. No, what? No, not Wyoming. I would love to go to the Bahamas. Great. Why? Because it's, be it's beautiful. The Bahamas are beautiful, and um, I love a change of scenery. Wow, could you be more surface level? Well, I, th I thought that was a good answer. What other? Camp disagrees. I don't care what your imaginary friend disagrees. Okay, so if you had to describe yourself in four words, what would they be? Ooh, four words. <clears throat> if I had to describe myself in four words, they would be old soul, and I'm using that as, as counting that as one. Uh, old soul, uh, because I love the art of ventriloquism, I love antiques, I love old music. Uh, I'm very passionate about uh, people, relationships I'm, I'm in. Uh, my skill of ventriloquism, my love for it, and, and writing. So I've got a lot of various passions, whether it's people or uh, crafts that I'm a part of. Uh, I'm very creative as well. That kind of goes with passion. I'm very creative. I build my puppets. I write my material. I do a lot of web design stuff and brand design. And then the fourth one would have to be driven. I'm very laser focused and focused on my path and my career and how can I make as many people laugh as possible. <laughs> I would just shoot for two. Why two? It would be one more than what you have currently. You're trying to roast me right now? Neither of you is it working. <sighs> All right, are we done with the questions? One more, one more question, okay, great. What is your favorite holiday? Oh, my favorite holiday is Christmas. Why? I love the nostalgia around Christmas time. Uh, you see some of these posts come up on, on TikTok, which is what I'm most known for is being on, being on TikTok. And uh, all these, these Christmassy posts, and they're so nostalgic with the vibe of what it was like being in elementary school, like the day before Christmas break. And it would snow, and you would watch the Christmas movies that the school would put on, and it was just, it was just such a uh, an innocence and such a warmth that um, I love tapping into that, and I love the sense of family and fellowship, and 
and the whole I'm a very religious person, so there's there's that that goes into it too. I love singing Christmas hymns. Uh, we would go to my grandparents' church every year as a family and sing Christmas hymns, and then we would go out to lunch afterwards, and it's a tradition I really enjoy, and something I hold dear to my heart would be Christmas. Thank you for checking out this video on Famous Birthdays. I'm Landon Harvey, and I'm Jackie the Jackalope. Again, you're not part of the video. Whatever, I am now. <laughs> Those were my questions. Yeah. <laughs>